SpaceX's current business, if you Google it, is around two to three billion a year in launches. Um, that's not growing extremely rapidly, but Starlink could be in the tens of billions of revenue in just a few years um, by signing up a fraction of its addressable market. So the business opportunity for Starlink is potentially 10, 20 times bigger than that of the core launch business. SpaceX's reusable rocket technology is really allowing them to do all of this. Um, there's actually been a bunch of other companies that are planning to do a similar satellite internet service. I mean, Amazon is actually looking for approval to launch a network of about 3,200 internet satellites um, around the globe, low earth orbit to beam internet to hard to reach places, almost exactly like SpaceX's business plan. We've also got a report from Bloomberg as of a couple weeks ago that Apple is, has a top secret team working on its own satellite kind of technology to beam down internet um, from you know satellites so that it doesn't have to use traditional carriers like AT&T and Verizon. So a bunch of tech companies are plowing a lot of money into this space. But if you think about it, every single one of these plans relies on launching a bunch of satellites into space. If you own that launch technology like SpaceX does, and you have by far the cheapest launch, your cost to pull this off and your even ability to pull this off is in, it's far superior to anyone else. I mean, Amazon and Jeff Bezos do have Blue Origin, his rocket company that's developing their own technology that's a little bit behind SpaceX. So maybe they'll try and or be able to launch their own satellites. But for companies like Apple, um, you know, they're going to have to rely on somebody to launch all of their satellites. So it just seems like SpaceX has been uniquely positioned to be to really pull off the first truly global mass adopted um, satellite internet because of their breakthrough in reusable rocket technology, which has dropped the cost so dramatically. So that even gets you to think thinking about moonshots about like companies like Apple with 100 billion, you know, in net cash. Are they incentivized to start partnering up with SpaceX, invest a couple billion, accelerate the launch of Starlink, leverage that, be the first exclusive company to use Starlink so they can cut out AT&T and Verizon and you can get way faster, cheaper internet access on your Apple devices? I mean, I think that's a really interesting moonshot of where, you know, I think one of these big tech companies could eventually partner with uh, SpaceX to leverage this Starlink technology.